The night I first met Jacob, he told me what he and other children in northern Uganda were living through. We were the rebel. When they raised us again, then they, they will kill us. My brother tried to escape. Then they killed using panga. They cut his neck. Did you see it? I saw. We fear that if we sleep at our home, we can be abducted by the rebels because our home is far away from town. They will catch us, then they will take us there in the bush to so come here to save our life. For 26 years, Kony has been kidnapping children into his rebel group, the LRA. Turning the girls into sex slaves. And the boys into child soldiers. He makes them mutilate people's faces. And he forces them to kill their own parents. And this is not just a few children. It's been over 30,000 of them. It's obvious that Kony should be stopped. The problem is 99% of the planet doesn't know who he is. If they knew, Kony would have been stopped long ago. No administration, Republican, Democrat, Obama, Bush, Clinton, doesn't matter, would do enough because it's simply not an important enough issue on the radar screen of American foreign policy. All of this was funded by an army of young people who put their money toward their belief in the value of all human life. They gave a few dollars a month of what little they had to a program called TRY and proved that a bunch of littles could make a big difference. And as a result, the unseen became visible. the Congress's stated policy, I have authorized a small number of U.S. forces to deploy to Central Africa to provide assistance to regional forces that are working toward the removal of Joseph Kony from the battlefield. Sincerely, Barack Obama. It was the first time in history that the United States took that kind of action because the people demanded it. Here is how we're going to make him visible. We are going to make Joseph Kony a household name, not to celebrate him, but to bring his crimes to the light. I want, uh, I'd like uh, indicted war criminals to enjoy the same level of celebrity as me. That seems fair. That's our objective, is to just shine a light on it. Our goal is to change the conversation of our culture and get people to ask, who is Joseph Kony? We have printed hundreds of thousands of posters, stickers, yard signs, and flyers that are right now, today, being put up in major cities all over the world. 